So, back at the Mazda tree. I'm going to show you this car inside and out as we go through it. Because I ain't did nothing to it. I just bought it and brought it home. So I'm going to set you on the dash. We're going to start this up. The windshield's not broken. I didn't even check that when I bought this. I just like, ooh, Mazda tree. It's affordable. And so I bought it. And here we are. Well, that's a good sign. First start since owning the Mazda tree. It's about out of gas. Starts right up. Got some exhaust rattle. I think it needs the engine mount. So, heavy though. So what I'm gonna do now is back it up and try not to hit anything. Definitely needs the engine mount. Common problem on these economy cars. Did I offend anyone by saying economy? You own a Mazda 3, you own an economy car. Brakes is touchy. Uh, suspension's wore out so far. At least it stops. It's a project. Fuel economy. That's what we're going for. Point A to point B. I ain't hit nothing yet. That's good. Oh, there's a ditch over here. Oh, I'm about in the ditch. Don't need to hear anything if I hit the ditch. Ooh, it goes forward. Cars need work, guys. You know? Content. As we don't hit the Chevelle, the Grand Am, or the boat, we're fine. You know, I could have just left this down at the shop, but. I'd rather just play around with it up here, you know? It's a new to me toy. Can you see how bouncy this is? It's bouncy. I wanna put some gas in it. She's low. I hope the gas gauge works. Supposedly it does. I guess I'll find out when I start driving it. Oh, my dogs see me. It'll be 10 minutes of me just moving the car around. Okay, so we definitely have to check the suspension out. Looks like it's something wobbly on the front here from what little I moved. So I'm gonna park this right here at an angle so we can get a good view at it. And I can show you the insides and show you what we got. Okay. Off we go. Gotta go feed my dogs first, though. So before we go around the outside, I guess we need to go around the inside. Check everything out, because I ain't looked this car over at all. It was affordable. Do you ever check affordable cars out? Not too good. It started and it moved. So that's a plus. So we got some toggle switches here. I don't know what that's for. Beeping, because I had the key on. Oh, okay, this is probably for the gauge cluster lights to turn them on them, but these feel good. Needs a good detailing. Badge. It's upside down. Uh, CD player, does it work? I got a CD? I don't have a CD. I gotta try this out. Let me go get a CD. So, radio works. That's cool how the light does that. Might try to change this out to an end dash later on. I don't know. I need to turn this off though. I need to try a CD. If it takes a CD and it plays, we'll be doing good. Okay, uh, well I simply SST off. CD, good old custom CD. Take it. Okay, it didn't take it. That ain't good. Do I have to be on? Take it. Load. Okay, maybe CD don't work. So CD player don't work, it ate my CD. I would like it back. Maybe I'm pushing on in. Probably wasn't the goodest thing to do. CD? 
Okay, CDN. Play. Oh, I gotta hit CD button. I feel like an idiot. So we hit, hit CD button. Is it spinning? It's not. Feel like it's in other. Load. CD one. Disc three. Disc two. CD. Go CD. Oops. Okay, note to self, we need to replace the head unit. As with the Mercedes, it does not work. Hello, thank you. Anyway, let's check out everything else. We got the doors here, need cleaned. We got good looking seats, just need cleaned. Uh, glove box opens. Forever smiles. Some other stuff. What's down here? More matches and cards and stuff. Hand sanitizer. Stuff like that. Uh, I don't know if it's got any engine codes or not. It does got a service engine light. Probably need a tune up. I would say it needs a tune up. Look at it. Go over here. Check out the back. Got more stuff in the core. Seats is not tore. That's good. I think they fold down. We need to pop the trunk. Gotta pop the trunk. I will switch to pop the trunk here. I don't own a monster. This is my first monster. Oh, they are. Okay, here. Just like my MX6. Hit a butt and pop the trunk from the inside. They could probably use trunk shocks. Okay, we got a spare tire, a blanket. God, it smells. It's drum lid. And. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll sort that out another day. Clean it out. I got a tail out here, holding water. This door open. Oh. Oh. And if all the windows work, we'd be doing good. I need the retaining clip. I guess I need to pop the hood all around take a look at it we do got a few little spots needs fixed you know on the walker panel rust repair we can we can repair this all this you know this is an affordable car this is what you look for when you you know you got a budget and if you it's your first car it's great that's completely gone I have to build that from scratch that though the main thing is, what matters is everything underneath of it. And that looks pretty solid. I wish under here we can build. You know, a side scut. Cover every bit of that. I don't have to worry about it. Starts up good. AC. Okay, our AC fan has seen better days. It does switch, sounds like. Oh, it's got a little cold air coming out. Poor wheel fan. Okay, if AC works, I would say the heat works. So, I'm just happy the AC works. How many miles is on this little car? Oh, no, not much at all. Not even broke in yet. Pop the hood. Well, as I sing it, don't smoke. But they got a lot of oil up there. Does it use it? And she is low, 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 and needs an oil change. Look at that. It's about a quart low. Oh, uh, she's sitting down here too. Oh, about half quart low, maybe. Somewhere now. 
5W20, what it calls for. Just, well, that could be just spilled because it does look quite clean in this. If you look over in here, I didn't see no leaking oil underneath of it, you know. Okay. Uh, can you, uh, let's bounce up on it. I know it's a bouncy, let's. Okay, can you bounce up and down on that, please, while we check this out? Underneath of it. You can see it's quite clean on here. Go ahead, a little harder. Okay. Flay bar in links. Okay. Still got a little bit of oil on the oil filter. Probably could use a new oil filter gasket around the oil, you know, oil thing. Okay. Got that though. So we're popping now, and we know it needs to pull over the struts, one in the back, or shocks. I don't know what this, but the, if you watch that section of the video again, you can watch the end links popping. Oh, yeah. Oh, stuff for this car is cheap. As I said, it's an economy car. They make upgradable parts, but the factory parts ain't meant to last. But these little 2.0 Mazdas go forever. Hopefully this one will. I'll give it a fresh oil change. Hopefully it don't fall to hell when I start trying to take care of it. What's this? Head wipe box? My head wipe gonna fall out? Is that just the type of bulbs is in it? Oh sure. So I'm gonna mess around with this a little bit, clean it out a little bit. I ain't gonna detail the insides today, but I do need to clean it out. By the way, the back window does go down. So let me know what you think. You know, let me get a good thumbnail. Is that a good thumbnail? You know? I think it's pretty good. Like, what was I thinking? It was affordable. Can't tell by by looking at it. So, I'm going to go edit this video now. Hope you enjoyed. And if you got a monster tree, let me know. Tell me what mods we can do to this. This might be a next car show, you know, car. I take in the cruisings and stuff. You know, just loud exhaust. That's all I need. Cut the muffler pretty loud right now it's got converters that probably get my money back for the car out of the converters if they're good so i got a free monster check engine lights done on so ain't gonna miss them converters i will worry about that another day thanks for watching stay tuned subscribe